The Future Combat Air System FCAS, is one of the most ambitious and expensive military industrial projects currently underway in Europe. It was initiated in 2017 by France and Germany and later joined by Spain. The project is designed to deliver a next-generation combat system, with a central manned stealth fighter aircraft accompanied by unmanned aerial systems, remote carriers all connected through a sophisticated, combat cloud, that integrates data, communications, and command functions across the battlefield. The project is expected to exceed 100 billion euros in total development and production costs and aims for operational deployment by around 2040. The FCAS project was initially launched as a response to several strategic needs. First, it sought to replace existing combat aircraft in Europe, namely the French Dassault Rafale and the German and Spanish Eurofighter Typhoon fleets. Second, and perhaps more importantly, it was envisioned as a way to ensure Europe's technological and strategic autonomy in military aviation at a time when major global players such as the United States, China, and Russia were rapidly advancing their own next-generation air capabilities. FCAS is structured into several major development pillars. The New Generation Fighter NGF, a stealth-capable, manned fighter jet to be the centerpiece of the system. Dassault Aviation is the prime contractor on this component. Remote Carriers Autonomous or semi-autonomous drones designed to fly in coordination with the NGF, performing reconnaissance, electronic warfare, or even strike roles. Airbus leads development here. The Air Combat Cloud, a secure and flexible data sharing system that integrates manned and unmanned platforms into a single network. Airbus is also involved in this area. The Engine, a next-generation propulsion system, with France's Safran and Germany's MTU Aero engines sharing the work. Sensors and stealth technologies, involving companies like Hensoldt in Germany and Thales in France. Simulation and system integration, to support training and testing, as well as ensure all components function cohesively. Despite a clear vision and declared commitment from the participating governments, FCAS has suffered from ongoing industrial and political disputes that have significantly delayed its progress. The core of the disagreement revolves around governance, industrial leadership, and workshare, who does what and who controls what. France, through Dassault, has insisted on maintaining clear leadership over the design and development of the NGF. Dassault, which has a long history of designing fighter aircraft independently Rafale, Mirage, has been reluctant to share design authority or intellectual property. Airbus, particularly its German division, has pushed for a more equal role in decision-making and technological access, citing the need for balanced participation given the shared funding and political goals. These tensions have already caused multiple delays. The Phase 1A contract for conceptual development was completed, but it took over two years for the Phase 1B contract to be signed in late 2022, which focused on technology maturation and preliminary demonstrator design. During this time, it became evident that the differing industrial cultures, legal frameworks, and national defense priorities were affecting the project timeline. The demonstrator aircraft, initially planned to fly around 2027, is now expected no earlier than 2029. The situation escalated in July 2025 when Reuters reported that France had informed Germany of its desire to take on approximately 80% of the workshare in FCAS. This figure would effectively leave Germany and Spain with only a marginal role in the development and production of the system. Such a drastic shift in participation has provoked concern from German political and industrial leaders. A lawmaker from the Social Democratic Party, which is in government, warned that if France insists on this demand, it could mark the end of Germany's involvement and the potential collapse of the program itself. The German Defense Ministry responded by reaffirming that the intergovernmental agreements governing FCAS remain binding and that any unilateral shift away from the agreed-upon framework would not be acceptable. Meanwhile, France's Ministry of Defense and Dassault Aviation have declined to comment publicly. Airbus, for its part, reiterated its commitment to FCAS and noted that the months remaining in 2025 are critical to move the program into its next development phase. If France's demand is maintained and Germany decides not to continue under the revised terms, the FCAS program could either be significantly restructured or potentially fail altogether. In that case, France might choose to proceed on its own, although this would drastically increase costs and likely lead to capability reductions or further delays. Alternatively, it could seek new partners or align with existing fighter programs. 
Another possibility raised by defense analysts is a potential merger or strategic alignment between FCAS and the Global Combat Air Program, GCAP, which is a separate sixth-generation fighter program currently being developed by the United Kingdom, Italy, and Japan. GCAP has advanced in parallel with FCAS and aims to deploy a stealth fighter in the same 2040 timeframe. There has been some discussion, mostly from Airbus representatives, of potential synergies or shared technologies between FCAS and GCAP, but no formal talks have taken place. A merger would be complex due to different operational requirements, industrial arrangements, and political agendas. Internally, the FCAS industrial structure is also being tested by shifting technological demands. As warfare becomes increasingly digitized, elements like artificial intelligence, electronic warfare capabilities, and secure data sharing are taking precedence. Developing a seamless combat cloud is one of the most complex parts of the project, requiring not only software and hardware innovation but also deep trust between companies and countries in sharing sensitive technologies. The more fragmented the project becomes, the more difficult it will be to ensure that the final system meets its intended operational goals. For now, all three partner nations remain officially committed to FCAS, but the situation is highly uncertain. The timeline to resolve key issues is short. Without agreement by the end of 2025 on Phase 2 development, including final demonstrator plans and firm industrial workshare allocations, progress could stall indefinitely. The demonstrator, which is seen as critical proof of concept, needs to begin construction soon if FCAS is to stay viable as a 2040 solution. FCAS remains a landmark effort in European defense cooperation. However, it is now at a crossroads. The original intention of the program was not only to develop a new generation of military aircraft, but also to reinforce European unity in defense technology and reduce reliance on foreign systems. Unless a clear and balanced resolution is reached on workshare and governance, FCAS risks becoming another case study in the difficulties of multinational defense collaboration.